Are we on? Oh, thanks for telling. Hi, this is Professor Perez. Today we're going to be working on subtracting negative numbers. In the previous lecture, we were adding negative numbers and we're moving on to the subtraction of negative numbers. And of course, who's going to help us out? That's right, Mr. Charlie. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Trying to get the homework. Did you do all your homework? Trying to. Okay. Well, remember, you don't have to do it. You can always come back and do it next semester. Anyway, let's continue on with our lecture. Okay, Charlie, let's start with 6 plus 4. What is 6 plus 4? 10. Very good. Okay. It is 10. Now, Charlie, what number do you subtract from 10 to get 6? 4. Very good. It is 4. Okay. Now, remember, from the last lecture, we were talking about commutative property for addition, where 4 plus 2 was the same as 2 plus 4. There is no commutative property for subtraction. You can't reverse the order oh. here. So we'll talk more about that later in the course, but you cannot do that. Okay. So let's go to this next addition problem, negative 1 plus 5. Okay, Charlie, what's negative 1 plus 5? 4. It is 4. Correct. Now, Charlie, what number do you subtract from 4 to get negative 1? 5. Your number line there? Yes, it is 5. Okay, Charlie, one more. Bear with me. We're working up to this. What is negative 4 plus 7? 3. Very good, Charlie. This is 3. Okay. Now, what number do I subtract from 3 to get negative 4? Look at the number line. 7. Very good, Charlie. Okay. It is... Seven. Okay, now Charlie, here we go. What is seven plus a negative three? That's seven minus three. Just four. It is four. Right? Because that was from the last lecture, yes. right? Remember seven plus three plus a negative three is four. Yes, it is the same as seven subtract three. Yes. And Charlie, pay attention here. What number do we subtract from four to get seven? Okay, be careful. Look at your, the problems we did before, those three problems up there before. Just apply the same procedure. 4 subtract a negative 3. Negative 3 is 7. Very good. Okay, Charlie, now let's review something here. When we were doing 7 plus negative 3 equals 4, you had said 7, minus three. seven subtract 3 yes. equals 4, correct? Yes. Okay. And with that result, Charlie, that means that what number do you add to 4 to get 7? 3. It's 3. So we're seeing that 4 plus 3 okay, is 7. And that is equivalent to our result that we got previously, which is that 7 should equal 4 subtract negative 3. So look at those two things there, Charlie. Yeah. And if you look at that, all of you too, please look at this. 4 plus 3 is giving us the same result as 4 subtract negative 3. They're both equal to 7, oh. correct? Okay, so let's look at the number line. Okay, 4 subtract 3 was what, Charlie? 1. That's right, it was 1. Okay, now let's look at the 4 subtract negative 3. Well, that went to the right. That is 7. Yes, yes. it is. Okay. And now, 4 subtract a negative 3 appears to be giving us the same result as what, Charlie? 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3. So we're seeing that 4 plus 3 is the same as 4 subtract negative, negative 3. They're both giving us 7. Okay, Charlie, so explain in your own words okay, those two equations there. What's the difference between those two? Subtracting negative 3 and plus 3, part 7. Sub okay, so again, let me translate for Charlie. Charlie said subtracting a negative 3 is the same as adding 3. Okay, And so that is our rule that we're establishing in this lecture here. So let's do some problems here. Charlie, here we go. 7 subtract negative 2. What is it, Charlie? 7 plus 2. It's the same as? 7 plus 2. 7 plus 2. Very good. And 7 plus 2 is 9, right? Right. It's that first step. That's the hard part. Okay, let's try 3 subtract negative 4. 3 plus 4. That's right, the same as 3 plus 4, which is 7. 7. Very good, Charlie. Okay. Now, be careful with this one. We have negative 2 subtract negative 3. Okay, Charlie, do we do anything to that negative 2 up there? No. 
No, that one doesn't get changed. It's no. negative 2 plus, plus what, Charlie? 3. Very good. Negative 2 plus 3. Now, once we get over that, there should be no problem. What is negative 2 plus 3? 1. It is 1. Okay, one more, Charlie. Negative 5 subtract negative 4. Negative 5 plus it's 4. the same as negative 5 plus negative 4. Negative 5 plus 4. Very good. <clears throat> and now that we've gotten there, negative 5 plus 4 is? Negative 1. Negative 1. Very good, Charlie. And so now, all we have left now to do is do our problems in our workbook and your homework. Okay. And again, let me leave you with one last oh, thought, comes. and that is get to work. <laughs>